Hi, this is a quick movie showing you how to view objects in a sequence for analysis purposes. So I've got an image here of some chromosomes. First thing I want to do to create some objects is do a count size. I'm going to look for the automatic dark objects. I hit count and we have objects now. What I'm going to do is view the measurement data here and you'll see here we've got a, a little table here a list of all the objects that have been counted and all the different parameters that were counted for each object. Now what we can do here, if we want to take a closer look at some of the objects, uh, maybe we can click scroll to the object on here and now when we click on an object in the table, for example I'm, I might say I want to look at object number 10, it will scroll us directly to that object and we can look at it. I want to move down and I want to scroll to number 19 and there we go, we're taken to it. I might now decide I want to know a bit more about 19 and if I double click on it I'll get a list of its attributes brought up here like this. And what we can do now is we can choose to hide it and that will actually remove it from the in range count and remove it from the measurement data table. Okay. What you might like to do now is actually sort the objects and what we do here is we click on image and make sorted objects image. Now we've got the options here of sorting them by all the different parameters that we measured. Uh, I'm actually going to sort them by area. So I click on sort objects and there we are. We've, we've sorted all those objects by area as you can see here which is quite useful. Um, what you can do at this point is also use a macro to make these objects into a small sequence and um, then you can flick through them easily. So what we do first is going to macro management to load the correct scripts file. Now in the scripts file, scripts folder, sorry, of IPWin70, there should be a scripts file called sorted objects to sequence. If we open that up and run the sorted objects macro, we can see here that it gathers all the information about those objects and it actually puts them into a little sequence here. So if I just zoom in here a little bit and expand to get a better look, we can see we play through the sequence and look all these objects here have been made into a little sequence for you and you can quite easily flick through and review different objects here. Another interesting feature to do at this point would be to create a sequence gallery and we do this by going into process, sequence gallery and hitting create gallery. Now that will actually bring up all these objects in a grid format. This is the sequence in a grid format effectively. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And now we can see that if we click on an object in the sequence gallery, it takes us to that point in the sequence itself. And also if we play through the sequence, you can see in the sequence gallery here, it's actually highlighted the correct position. Okay, well I hope this has been helpful. For more information, please contact your local office or dealer. Thank you.